Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at what's probably the most hyped Mattel Jurassic product so far, the Hammond Collection Tyrannosaurus Rex. Collectors have been going absolutely nuts over this figure and for good reason. We've all been waiting for a highly articulated Jurassic Park T-Rex figure for a very, very long time and Mattel finally delivered. Now I end up getting my figure from my Target pre-order. It got delayed a couple times. I think the last update I got was supposed to be shipping uh, July 12th. Well, yesterday around 7 o'clock in the morning, I got an email that it shipped and it showed up less than 24 hours later. Um, the pre-orders everywhere for this thing is currently sold out, but I'll still leave a link down below in the description to Target's website. Uh, you can use the Target app to see what stores actually has this stock in, area, uh, in your area. I've seen a lot of people have great luck finding this. It's a brand new release. There's a lot of hype around it, so it's going to be pretty tough to find uh, in the first you know, month or so of its release, but I'm sure Mattel is going to make an absolute ton of these. There's so much hype surrounding this figure, and everyone's just praising this thing, and I'm sure Mattel is just going to be printing money by making sure this figure is readily to, available to everyone. And speaking of pre-order shipping, uh, I hit the perfect storm of uh, stuff all, all shipping at once. I ordered you know, this from Target, some stuff from Mattel Creations and Big Bad Toy Store. They all shipped the other day and they all arrived today too. So yeah, when I uh, checked my account the other day, had a little bit of a mild heart attack, but good news for everyone in this channel. There'll be a lot of cool reviews coming out very shortly. Now let's go with the package really quick before we crack this big girl open comes in the Hammond collection style package I've been seeing out since the line released. Uh, I have to say, I'm not a fan of the packaging. You can only see like maybe 20% of the figure and you know, Mattel should be showcasing this thing. It should be a wide open window box so we can fully see the figure. And the other reason is, you know, I trust Mattel with paint apps about as far as I can throw them and I can barely even see the top of the head of this figure. You know, if you tilt the box down, you can see the uh, tail in there. But yeah, most of the figure is just blocked by the packaging. I really hope uh, once they're done with this, you know, first round of Hammond Collection figures, they redesign the box to make it more open so we can see most of the figure. You got the Hammond Collection logo down here. You got a nice silhouette of the T-Rex skeleton. Turn the box to the side, you get a beautiful picture of Rexy with the Jurassic Park logo. Let's spin around the other side. Got a nice picture of the Hammond Collection logo. And then on the back of the box, we got some nice art of the T-Rex and of course the most iconic scene from Jurassic Park. And then down here with epic power and colossal force, the Tyrannosaurus Rex is the ultimate carnivore when dinosaurs rule the earth other than the other movies when it always needs a freaking assist when it fights any other dinosaur. So enough about the packaging. Let's crack this figure open and take a closer look. And before we throw this figure up on the turntable, it's just one assembly you have to do. You just have to stick the tail in Rexy's big old butt until you hear a click that is a one-time assembly it is not coming out and let's stop a nice 360 degree view of the hammond collection t-rex oh my goodness this thing is absolutely incredible mattel pulled out all the stops with this figure this thing is just an absolute work of art is it a perfect figure no is it amazing yes it is definitely hands down one of the best painted figures I've seen in the Jurassic line, like ever since Mattel got it uh, with Fallen Kingdom. This thing is just absolutely amazing. It's huge. Just absolutely just cannot stop messing around with this thing. It is just an amazing, amazing toy. You know, for us long time, you know, Jurassic collectors that, you know, when we grew up with in the Kenner days, we've been waiting for a highly articulated T-Rex figure ever since most of us got burned when we look at the uh, back of the packaging of the old Red Rex and they had the old uh, you know prototype for the uh, T-Rex that they used in the movie we never got a figure that looks like this and this Rexy is just absolutely beautiful and seeing it like this oh it just makes me so glad the Amber Collection is dead we were never ever going to get uh, T-Rex uh, in the Amber Collection scale with all this articulation. I know a lot of pe people are going to say, oh, but Dino Scream, oh, the Super Colossal was a great stand-in. Yes, it was a stand-in. It was never going to happen. Stop lying to yourself. Amber Collection was a failed experiment in the Hammond Collection 
is definitely the right move. And now the sky's the limit that they gave us a large Rex figure. They can do a Dominus Rex, Spinosaurus. They can even go back and retool some of the large sauropods like the Brachiosaurus and the Patasaurus and give them articulation. And the price point on this figure is just right. It's $49.99. It's $5 more than the current Dominion T-Rex that's clogging shelves at Targets and Walmarts everywhere. It's amazing what $5 more can give you in a figure you know you rip out the electronics uh this thing is like probably like 25 pieces you know versus you know the uh uh the regular mainline t-rex figures which is just a few pieces and you know like an action feature gimmick it's just you get so much more for five dollars and you know it really is a huge difference between the mainline figures that have barely any paint apps uh like i said mattel pull all the stops on here we have a rubber tongue gums uh glass eyes it's just it's just an absolute work of art this thing is absolutely amazing i hope everyone is trying to get one get their hands on one because this thing is definitely not to be missed and now for some quick measurements this big girl is a whopping 25 inches long or 63 and a half centimeters and about eight inches to the top of the head the height's going to change obviously how you have the figure uh posed or just over uh, 19 centimeters so rexy is estimated to be over 40 feet long so with those measurements that put this figure in the 120 scale range which makes it one of the best scaled figures in the hammock collection so far and now let's zoom and take a look at some of the finer details on this figure starting with this absolutely beautifully sculpted head seriously look at all the fine details all over the head you have the classic jurassic park style uh crest above the eyes you have all fine scale detail all over the head really beautifully sculpted head the teeth are nicely sculpted and let's open the mouth all the way uh, i'm just going to say this right off, off the bat i do not like the articulation on the mouth it is ratcheted it has this you know three locking points and you know that that's the only options it gives you to open the mouth and I am not a fan of that. I wish it was just a smooth joint and I can open the mouth a little bit or as much as I want. Instead, just be limited to three options. You can see the teeth are beautifully painted. They have a nice little bit of a wash on them to give them some definition. You can see all different shades of brown on all of the head. You have some black uh, specks uh, for some of the scales picked out. Uh, the eye, uh, I appreciate Mattel going the extra mile and giving us a glass eye, but I just don't like the way it came out you know from almost any angle you're looking at this figure from the figure looks almost dead inside just like me after i saw falling kingdom uh it's just you know dependent on the angle especially on my studio lights you can barely make out the pupil you know i'm looking at it right now i actually can see it just fine but like i said it's just does not show up well in photography you can barely see the pupil right there and just when you turn it certain ways the pupil disappears and the thing just looks dead I wish it was a painted eye, but then again, Mattel absolutely sucks at uh, printing the eyes on their figures. I have so many misprinted eyes from them. Um, yeah, just not a fan of the eye and just how the jaw articulation works on this thing. You do get rubber eyes gums, and uh, time will tell to see how these hold up. Um, you know, rubber material does not last long depending on how you store it. I could see, you know, years and years and years from now, you know, him a collection of Rexies that have intact gums would probably be going for a pretty penny. You do have a much thicker rubber tongue uh, that is poseable. You have some nice, nice details on the tongue. You have some nice wash inside the mouth to give it a really nice alive look. You have uh, pink plastic for the why my camera is just really really jumpy with this thing up so close uh you have some nice plastic for the roof of the mouth so yeah all around like i said they pulled out all the stops on this figure the paint job is absolutely gorgeous just a couple uh design choices really hold the figure back for being absolutely perfect and let's take a look at <laughs> rexy uh from the front it's such a big figure it's so hard to maneuver around the studio it has a nice nice profile of Rexy's uh, face you get some nice binocular vision and let's take a look at it from the top more beautiful beautiful scale detail all over the top of the head and we get down to the neck you get this nice dark stripe and mix it in with the lighter brown you have some scale details mixed along the neck on the underside you get a nice light uh, color scheme for the underside of the jaw all the way down the body to the very very tip of the tail this is a nice 
hefty, hefty, hefty feel and figure. Definitely uh, feels very, uh, you know, quality made with just like all the parts and just the paint and the plastic that they use. And then going down to the main body, you can see the arms are beautifully sculpted. Wow, my camera's just not liking uh, this uh, Ham <laughs> Hammond Collection Rex. It's just jumping all over the place. The uh, finger claws are painted in, which is very, very rare for Mattel. I do have a little bit of uh, paint wear on the hand claws of mine. Not a big deal. I can easily, easily touch that up. You get some more speckling and uh, washes all over the figure to bring out all the beautiful scale, uh, detail on this figure. Uh, on the knees and the thighs, a little bit too dark shading. Some people don't like it. It's really not bothering me that much. You get some lighter uh, shading on the back of the thighs and on the calves and then going down to the feet. Oh my God, these feet are just absolutely massive. Um, Helps greatly with stability by, I seriously think they did some uh, better engineering in this figure and maybe change around the uh, center of gravity. They could definitely have downsized these feet just a little bit. It's one of the other things besides the way the uh, jaw articulation works in this figure. I don't like the size of the feet. It doesn't make me love the figure any less. It's just I would prefer them just a little bit smaller. And the legs do look really, really big on this figure when they're fully extended. She looks a little bit... Uh, too tall but you know that's how you're going to fit in all that articulation for a 50 dollars toy you know it, it, it's great for what it is and then going down to the feet again see the toe claws are decked out in nice dark glossy brown paint and then going down to the tail you get some more of that beautiful beautiful striping all the way to the tip i hope don't knock over my transformers you big girl yeah this thing is just absolutely beautiful from head to toe this is just a jurassic park collector's dream come true Moving on to articulation, this big girl is pretty flexible, just like a back alley New Orleans prostitute. You can get a lot of poses out of Rexy here. Now, we already covered the mouth, you know, with those locking positions, but you can open up the mouth that wide. You have the nice articulated tongue. Mouth can close completely flush. You can move the head up. You can move it down. And why is there a fly flying around here? I gotta check my windows. Uh, you can get some nice side to side movement with these two neck joints right here. Uh, going down to the main body, you do have this mid cut uh, through the torso. You could get some nice upwards movement and some nice downward movement. Some people are saying uh, it's loose on theirs. Uh, mine seems to be pretty good until I get to a braid about this point and then it'll drop down. So I'm probably have to stick some uh, Kiki joint tightener in there just to tighten it up tighten it up a little bit not sure how i'm gonna get in there but i'm gonna have to figure it out and then going down to those little forearms they are on a hinge they can swing out you can rotate them 360 degrees you can get just about under 90 degrees of bend on that elbow joint you can outstretch the arms completely the wrists are articulated all those are on a swivel i believe this is the first dinosaur uh, in the hammock collection that actually has wrist articulation going down to the legs leg can move backwards and forwards you do have a locking point to keep the legs in a neutral position which will help with stability turn the figure around the back you do get some nice thigh pivot going down to the legs you can extend the legs uh pretty far yeah they're a little proportionately uh long on this figure when you have them out like that but you know they have increased the side of the leg to get all this nice articulation you can get a nice bend uh, at the knee, you get a nice bend at the calf. Calf is on a swivel. Feet can move back and forward and they can rotate side to side. Going down to the tail, you get some nice side to side move with that tail and 360 degrees. There's another joint in the tail, allows for more side to side and 360 degree of movement. And then for this last part right here, it is a rubberized tail. Nice heavy duty rubber with a bendy wire in there so yeah messing around with this figure is definitely definitely a ton of fun i absolutely love this thing it blows away all the other rex figures uh mattel has put out over the years they were all good figures but each release felt like it was just shy of being perfect and now we have this and it just renders all those other Mattel Rexes, completely obsolete. I am probably uh, never going to buy another mainline Rex figure again because this Hammond Collection Rex is basically perfect in my eyes other than just like a couple little quirks on it. Moving on to comparisons. First up, here is Hammond Collection Alan Grant. 
and Ian Malcolm, and you can see they look absolutely fantastic next to Rexy. And next up here it is with the current Dominion mainline T-Rex. You know, the proportions are kind of similar between the two figures. Uh, the Hammond Collection Rex definitely has a much more proportionate head and body, and especially the tail. This, this figure has a nice, nice long proportionate table, which is a rarity on Mattel figures. You know, the only other thing is the, the feet on this are definitely much bigger uh, than on the Dominion Rex. And like I said, there's only a five dollar difference between these two figures and look at what you get for five dollars more just absolutely incredible this hammer collection is just making me want to collect less and less of the main line and let's keep on going comparing to mattel rexes this is the extreme damage t-rex which is you know based off that battered and bruised uh mold of the uh, extreme chopping uh legacy rex mold now this one has far far superior mouth articulation look you can you know open it up as wide as you want you can close it just a little bit no ratcheting points to close the jaw i really wish this hammer uh collection rex used the same articulation uh, as this one it would have just been uh much uh more fun to play with than that i'm just limited to three different uh you know poses with the mouth because of that locking point point. and lastly for t-rex comparisons here it is with the old Kenner Red Rex, which is still a favorite uh, toy of mine. You know, this one has much more proportionate feet, but the figure is basically a tripod. You know, off camera, it is uh, balancing on the tip of its tail. Uh, this Hammond Collection Rex is roughly the same size as it. So, yeah, this is definitely a big, big boy Rex figure. And next up here it is with the Indominus Rex. I'm sure it's just a matter of time before we get a Hammond Collection. Indominus and uh, that thing is going to be uh, truly stunning when they finally start tackling the other large uh, carnivores of the franchise. And next up here it is with the Extreme Chomping Spinosaurus, another figure that's probably going to get remade in the Hammond Collection. I'm pretty much going to stay away from like, all movie appearance uh, dinosaurs in the main line because I know somewhere down the road we're going to get a far superior Hammond Collection version. And next up, here it is with the Hammond Collection Triceratops, which I will be reviewing next. <sighs> I got a lot, uh, just the size of that trike, just next to T-Rex. We really, Triceratops was friggin' huge. It was like the size of an African elephant. Elephant. This T-Rex just needs to do one chomp to this trike, and it is absolutely done. But you know, you know, I, I will, I will express my gripes uh, about this figure when I finally get to the review of it. And to put into perspective of how much of a beast Triceratops really was, especially when compared next to T-Rex, here is the Beast of Mesozoic adult Triceratops figure. For those of you unfamiliar with Beast of Mesozoic, these are high quality, scientifically accurate, fully articulated uh, dinosaur figures. They're kind of similar to the Hammond Hammer Collection because of all the articulation, but seriously, these figures are in a league of their own. The price definitely reflects it, but they are definitely, definitely worth every penny but seriously look how big triceratops is next to this rex this is pretty close of uh like the size difference between the two in real life maybe somewhere down the line mattel will give us a larger trike but you know if i hold my breath i'll be dead and let's end the comparisons with a nice group shot of all the current hammond collection figures and what a beautiful beautiful sight this is we already have so much species variety no repaints yet this is why it's far superior than the uh amber collection i just really turned sour to amber collection when they just kept releasing uh raptor repaint after raptor repaint they have no they had mattel had no clue what they were doing with that line and just look at all the wrongs they've righted with the hammond collection we'll never ever ever going to see this species variety with the uh amber collection and the hammond collection is truly a jurassic collector's dream come true so final thoughts on the Hammond Collection T-Rex. This is without a doubt the best figure Mattel has ever produced in the Jurassic line so far. It's going to be really, really hard to top this figure. This thing is just absolutely joy to play with. And on top of that, it is the best, you know, mass-produced Jurassic-style T-Rex uh, between Kenner and Hasbro. Well, well, you know, Blind Man could do a better job than uh, what Hasbro did. But yeah, this thing is truly incredible. Like I said, it is not a perfect figure couple quirks with it you know the glass eye you know it was a nice touch to kind of get the figure you know a premium look and feel but it's just 
doesn't work right, you know, depending on what angle you look from, the eye looks uh, completely, you know, dead inside. Uh, not a fan of that uh, ratcheted jaw articulation. I wish it was much smoother so I could pick where I want the mouth to be open. The feet are absolutely massive. Uh, it really doesn't bother me too much. It really helps with stability, but I think a little bit more fine tuning with engineering, you know, changing, uh, you know, center of mass and point of gravity. They probably could have downsized the feet a little bit to make it more proportionate. But other than that, this thing is beautifully painted. Love the rubberized tongue and gums and just the sculpt is absolutely amazing on this thing. I can see why the hype for this thing is through the roof right now because the hype is real on this figure. Now, like I said at the beginning of the review, I actually got lucky and you know got my pre-order in when Target had that very short window before they sold out. Figure retails for $49.99. Uh, it's currently sold out everywhere, but you can check uh, Big Bad Toy Store, Mattel Creations, Target. Uh, people find them all over the place at Target right now, so I wish everyone luck trying to track this thing down. And you know, don't worry if you can't find it right away. Mattel is going to make a ton of these things. This thing is an absolute gold mine for them. They're going to make a ton of money. So yeah, they're definitely going to be hitting shelves for a while. This is definitely the flagship figure in the Hammond collection, and I don't see this thing being in short supply. So that will do it for the review. As you can tell from the beginning of this review, I have a ton of new Mattel stuff to review. So a lot of good reviews coming up later on in the next week or so. So stay tuned for all those. And as always, if you're enjoying the content on this channel, show your support by hitting that subscription button just below the video. Each subscription helps out the channel tremendously and it's greatly appreciated. And I'll see you guys for the next one.